Stay Fast is a combination of fitness and great technique. One is about physical hard work and the other slightly more mental. Yeah, you can spend hours plodding or thrashing up and down the pool per week, doing thousands of meters and see very little difference in your swim time. And that is a sure sign that you need to work on your technique. So what better place to start than at the front of the stroke? So today we're gonna to be looking at the catch part of front court and showing you how you can improve this vital part of the stroke. So we can break the front crawl stroke into phases. We've got the catch, the pull, the exit, and then the recovery. So the first part of the stroke when a hand first enters the water is the catch, and that is our purchase on the water. Then we have the pull phase, which is our main underwater phase of the stroke, and that gives us the propulsion. The exit is as it sounds, and then when a hand comes out and over past our head, that is the recovery. Without a good catch, the rest of the stroke is going to struggle. Getting hold of the water at the front of your stroke is vital for a strong pull. But let's rewind a moment. What exactly is this part of the stroke that we keep talking about? It happens as your hand enters the water at the front of the stroke, when your movement changes from moving forwards to pulling back and down under your body. The moment when your hand and forearm start to make this new movement is the catch. In theory, you're catching this new body of water. Okay, so you want your fingers together, but they need to be relaxed. You can't force this part of the stroke. And as your hand goes in, it goes from being horizontal to your fingers then starting to angle towards the bottom. You need to try to avoid that a long glide at the front. It is tempting and it's something that I used to do, but it's not an efficient way of swimming, even though it does look quite pretty. Basically, you want to catch that water as soon as you can while still maintaining a smooth entry. If we imagine our nose as a center line, we want to make sure that we're not crossing over that center line when we catch. Equally, we want to make sure that we're not going outside of our shoulder. We should actually be aiming to catch in line with our shoulder. So if you are going too far inside or outside, you're essentially continually counteracting yourself. And this ends up with that kind of snaking motion down the pool, which is quite inefficient. Yeah, so the catch happens with your palm and your forearm. So you're going to have a flex at the elbow to keep that high. And actually a slight flex at the wrist will help maintain the elbow position throughout. And a coach actually explained it to me once is imagine there's a set body of water that's not moving. You're getting hold of that water and then you're going to pull yourself through. And imagine if you didn't get hold of that in the first place, the rest of your stroke is going to be pretty inefficient. And it's an analogy that really helped me. It's one thing knowing what to do. It's another thing being able to execute it. So here are some drills to help you get a good, strong catch. Okay, let's start with the front skull, which is probably the most popular of the catch drills as it isolates the catch with a back and forth type motion. And for this, you need to start in a streamlined position with your arms out in front of you. And you can kick if you want to, maybe use fins will help, or a pull boy to help with the buoyancy. Basically, you're trying to isolate this movement so you can really focus on it. And with that in mind, you're not going to be going very fast at all. It's not about speed, it's not about the propulsion, it is purely about technique. A useful way to explain this is imagine you're trying to form two mounds of sand out in front of you. So you're just gonna be sweeping gently over the top with that slight downward angle of your hands. So if you are applying the correct pressure downwards and backwards, you will start to move forwards, but it will be slowly. Now then, the single arm drill is a really good place to start putting the stroke back together. You want to leave the spare arm out in front or down by your side and then concentrate on one arm at a time with the emphasis on the catch. Now, some people do find this drill quite hard to do. So if you need to, you can wear a set of fins just to help with the propulsion or you can even use a kickboard with the spare arm just to help with the buoyancy a little bit more. And whilst we're talking about swim aids, a snorkel can be really useful here. So by having a snorkel on, it means that you can keep your head in the water, keep your head still and really focus on that catch. Another really useful swim aid is finger paddles, which are essentially a smaller version of these paddles. And what they do is reinforce good technique and really show up bad form because what you'll find with a set of finger paddles is your hand would slip out. Now, if you don't have a set of finger paddles, you can just use your normal paddles and basically just forget about using that bottom strap, just use the top strap and it will basically do a very similar thing. 
A drill I like that emphasizes the importance of the catch, and she does so by taking away part of it. It is fist swimming. So for this, you're gonna swim 25 meters with a clenched fist, and then a second 25 meters with your palm open. And this should really emphasize the importance of the catch and make you aware of when you're doing it well. This last drill is actually more of an exercise, and it's a fun one to do in a group, especially if you've got a coach on poolside. So get a few of you across the lanes, all facing forwards in a horizontal position, so you're sculling the water and you're kicking gently, but you're staying on the spot. And then as soon as the coach blows the whistle, you've got a sprint to 10 meters. So it will really emphasize those first few strokes and the catch of them. And it's also an exercise you can practice perfectly well on your own as well. That might seem slow and frustrating, focusing on such a small part of the stroke, but start as you mean to go on. So by sorting and getting a good catch, hopefully the rest of the stroke will follow. Yeah, and this is the start of our swim week. So there's gonna be a lot more swimming videos coming. Keep an eye out for those. If you wanna make sure that you don't miss any of them, just hit the globe to subscribe. And if you like the look of these swim caps, you can find those in the shop. Yep, and if you'd like to see our video on swim toys that can help to improve your technique, then just click down here.